Okay, so I will uh, solve this uh, equation. So, uh, first I want to uh, simplify this equation, this one. So, s plus 1, s square, s square plus 9. So, this one can be simplified. Uh, wait, eh? So, if we, you can go to the, in uh, if you have uh, the, tech, the textbook, uh, you can go to page 116 to learn about cover up rule. How to uh, separate this function into a uh, smaller function how to separate this fraction into uh, partial fraction, okay? So, the formula should be like this. A, S plus B, if you want to make a smaller fraction, this is the formula. Plus C, S plus D over S square plus nine. Okay, so this uh, denominator at the bottom, we are the one who decide. So I want to separate the this s square with the s square plus nine. Okay, so that's why I have these two components. Eh? Okay. So right now. Uh, the top of the fraction should be A S plus B and C S plus D where A, B, C, D are the constant that we need to find. Okay. So right now, I want to add both of them to find the value of A, B, C, D. So we just multiply with uh, both denominator. So A S S plus B multiply with S square plus 9 over wait, uh, plus C S plus D multiply with S square. Okay. So S square, S square plus 9. So we will have that. Uh, if you look at here, these two are similar. So we can eliminate that. Uh, we can eliminate the the bottom part of the fraction and then therefore s plus one is equal to if i multiply everything plus nine a s plus b s square plus b nine plus c s cube plus d s square okay so this is uh, how to find the uh, constant and then we compare left with the left hand side we can see that uh, this one is equal to b9 okay so one is equal to b9 therefore b is equal to 1 over 9 okay and then s is equal to which one this one eh? 9 a s so s is equal to 9 a s therefore a is equal to 1 over 9 as well the, the s is 1 okay and afterward uh there is no uh, S square and S cube component at the uh, left hand side. Therefore, for the S square component, uh, the left hand side is uh, zero. So this is S square component. We know the B already. So you can find yourself that D is equal to negative one over nine, okay? And same goes to the S cube. 
So SQ, uh, the left hand side is zero. So the right hand side is this one and this one. Okay. So A S cube plus C S cube. Eliminate the S cube. So therefore C is equal to negative one over nine as well. Okay. So we put everything inside this equation. Okay, I don't think that I have uh, enough space right here. So just I uh, just uh, write down uh, the answer. Okay, I put it, uh, squeeze it right here. Okay. Uh, so one over nine s plus one. Minus 1 over 9 S plus 1. Sorry, we have uh, bottom eh? at the bottom. S square, S square plus 9. So this is from this one. Eh? After I put the value of A, B, C, D. Okay. And then uh, we still cannot find the, uh, in uh, this form, in the formula. So we need to separate the game uh, into partial fraction again. Okay. So how to do that? <coughs> we use uh, uh, again the cover up uh, rule. Again go to the page uh, 119, uh, 116 to understand what is cover up rule. So this one can be separated into 1 over 9 over s plus 1 over 9 uh, square. Actually, this one is not, this one is not a cover-up rule. You, you don't have to use a cover-up rule. You can just uh, separate uh, the top uh, of the fraction. So this s, uh, we go to right here and one is go to right here. Okay. Same goes to this one. S go to right here, one is go to right here. So you will have the answer. So I just separate everything. One over nine. S. S square plus three square minus one over twenty. Seven, no. Okay. Three over a square plus three square. Okay. So this is can be separated into these two. Okay. And right now we can find this form, this four form in the uh, Laplace table. Okay. So the answer is yeah. so the inverse transform of the equation, this one okay is equal to 1 over 9. We can just inverse transform. Inverse transform 1 over 90 minus 1 over 9 cos 3t minus 1 over 27 sine 3t. Okay. So that is the answer for the example. Okay. So we just add everything. Eh? We just uh, we can inverse transform individually, eh? separately. We don't have to uh, inverse everything. We can uh, inverse transform one by one. This one, this one, this one, this one. So we get we inverse this one. We get this one. We inverse this one. We get this one. 
and so on. This one, we get this one, okay? Hopefully, it is clear. Now, I go to the next example so that uh, we can understand more. So, in the next example, uh, we will uh, learn about uh, we have learned about the shift uh, uh, shift theorem yeah. uh, we have learned about the first shift theorem so in this uh, example 11.18 we will apply the first shift theorem uh, so uh, the theorem is uh, is quite uh, easy. So this is the theor theory that you need to understand. It is given in the in the formula. Okay. So it's quite uh, straightforward. So if you look at here in this equation, we can see that uh, s is plus with two. So and we know that the formula for uh, 1 over S, sorry, 1 over S is equal to, sorry, S square is equal to the transform of T, function T. Okay. So therefore, we can simplify this uh, inverse transform. Uh, so we we simplify the function first. So this one can be changed into one over s square, which is similar to the formula that we know. And then, where s is uh, changing to s plus two, so this is the first shift uh, first shift theorem. So remember the s plus two, and then we can just inverse the this one, and then we multiply with uh, the exponential. So therefore. The inverse transform of 1 over s plus 2 square is equal to t. So we add the answer this one, t. And then we multiply with the exponential powered by the negative of this uh, 2, this value. Eh? So multiply with e power of negative 2t. So this is the first shift uh, theorem that you have learned. But now, right now we apply in inverse transform. Okay. So this is the answer. And finally, we try another one so that you can understand. Uh, you can familiarize uh, yourself with the inverse uh, uh, process inverse uh, Laplace transform process. So right now we want to solve another kind of uh, function. So right now we want to apply first shift theorem again. So if you look at here, we can see that uh, this function is This is uh, quite complex, so we, we want to simplify it, okay? So we just consider the inside of the bracket. S square plus 2S plus 5, okay? We can simplify it into S plus 1. This is uh, depending on your experience of how to simplify it. So we can 
actually this s plus one uh, uh, square is uh, part of the of this function okay and then we can uh, separate make a partial uh, fraction from this fraction so s plus one so since this one is sorry since this one is s plus one so we want to make the uh, the above part of the the top part of the fraction is s plus one as well okay so the bottom part is still the same four but we have additional fraction which is six over s plus one square plus four okay and then we can simplify again s plus one s plus one square plus two square plus three two s plus one square plus two square so right now we can see a pattern in these two components and we can see that we can uh, see this form in the formula but we need to uh, consider the first shift theorem again so s plus one we need to change into s so therefore we need to uh, simplify so all of this is equal to so we use this uh, box bracket so we change s plus one into s to so s square plus two square and s is changing to s plus one and plus three again the box for the first shift theorem two s square plus two square s is changing to s plus, s plus one okay and inside the bracket we can uh, find the formula in the table okay and this one is actually if we inverse it we can get a inverse is equal to this one is equal to cos 2t okay and this one is equal to uh, sine 2t okay so now we can find the final answer then so the inverse transform of the of this function let's say i put it b to simplify it of b is equal to e why e because uh, we are using the first shift theorem okay e and because this is one and this is one as well we need to add e power of negative one t negative t okay so we just put this uh, function cos 2t plus e power of negative t this one eh? sine 2t and don't forget this three eh? so this is the answer for the inverse uh, transform okay example 11.20 eh? so uh, Right now it's 11.30 already. Hopefully you get uh, what I teach. I want to take uh, another attendance right now. So please wait. Eh? All right. Okay, are you with me? Are you still with me?
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five person are, has answered, so thank you. So right now, uh, we will learn uh, what is the exact purpose of Laplace Transform. And now we will apply what is the application of Laplace Transform. Actually, Laplace Transform is to solve, to solve a differential equation. Okay, so you have learned uh, how to uh, do the inverse transform. So that's it, uh, it's not uh, very complicated. It's uh, re related to the uh, Laplace transform itself. So hopefully you can uh, grab this uh, skill uh, quickly. So now we... I'm not sure what happened right now. Uh, sometimes it, my presentation is uh, interrupted. Okay, so I, I'm actually recording this uh, lecture right now, but I'm not sure whether the recording is still going on or not. By the way, uh, let's just continue with the lecture. So right now, uh, I want to solve differential equation using Laplace transform. So there are actually two type of uh, equation. First one is differential equation, and the second one is integral equation. So we, both of them can be transformed into uh, by using Laplace transform to simplify them. So this is the formula uh, if you want to transform differential equation. So the first one, uh, the simplest one. Eh? So we want to transform, uh, we know the function f t. Now we want to transform the derivative, the first derivative of function f. So what will happen is, uh, before that we need to know the transform of ft, which is fs. And then, if we want to transform the derivative of function f, so this is the formula. So, the answer is s times f s minus function f at time zero. Okay. So that is the formula. So you can see that this is this is s domain, but this one is in time domain. Eh? But don't worry because this is actually a value. A value. The value of, of the function f, small f, at t equal to zero, okay? And then, we go to the second one. Uh, now we want to transform the second derivative. d to f, d t two. So this is the, this is the formula. So it's quite similar, but uh, a little different. We have s square times f s minus s. This one is similar. And we have additional uh, equation. This is this one. What is that? That, that, is, that is actually uh, this one. What is the meaning of f1? Is actually you know, f1 is actually d f d t when f1 zero mean d f d t at time equal to zero okay hopefully you understand that
Okay. So that's for the second derivative. Now, what happened if uh, we want to transform the third derivative, fourth derivative, fifth derivative, and so on? So this is the general formula. The third one, eh? this one. So we can see the pattern. And <clears throat> so this is uh, S power of N, the FS, and the rest of the components, this one, this one, and so on, is actually value, the initial condition value, where at time zero, at time zero, what is the value of, uh, this is, d f d t this one is d 2 f d t 2 sorry 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 wrong wrong this is f and this is d f d t and so on okay and the component include d two f d t two and so on. Okay. So uh, in order to understand that, we can go to the example. But before we go, uh, we we go to the example. I just want to teach you a little about transform of integral. Eh? Actually, we don't focus more. Uh, we don't focus much about uh, transform of integral. So there is only one formula that you need to learn. This one. Okay. So this is actually the formula, simple formula. If we want to transform this integral. We just uh, eliminate the, this integral by replacing with 1s, 1 over s, okay? And what, what remains is the transform of the, the f function of the integral. And of course, the answer is the big F. All right. So uh, for this transform of integral, I want you to I want you to uh, try it by yourself. In example, eleven point twenty two. All right. Uh, let me take a break for a while. Okay, uh, everyone. Hello. So, are you still with me? I right know my son is uh, interrupting uh, my work right now. So, are you still with me?
Hello, uh, are you still with me? Okay, uh, so I just continue. Eh? So uh, uh, you can try the transform of integral uh, example ele example eleven point twenty two by yourself. It's quite uh, straightforward. Eleven point twenty two. Eh? So right now I want to go. We want. I want to focus more on uh, transform of differential equation. So we go to the example eleven point twenty three. So right now. Uh, we have learned how to solve differential equation uh, using the previous method, which is the uh, in the previous uh, chapter. But right now, uh, we want to use uh, alternative method, which is uh, Laplace transform to solve the differential equation. So, for example, in this uh, example 11.23, I want to solve the differential equation uh, given. But uh, what I need to know is the initial condition where uh, given at time t equal to zero, at time zero, x is equal to one and the x dt is equal to uh, zero. So if you look at here, uh, this is uh, in time domain, eh? in time domain. This one is also in time domain, okay? So don't worry about that. So we just transform it and then we will use the, this value inside the inside this uh, formula, okay. So right now I will solve it. Uh, so example eleven point twenty three. So how to transform this uh, differential equation is we can transform it. Uh, separately. So we transform the d2x dt2. We transform the uh, so the constant we put at the outside. We transform the dx dt. We transform the x and we also transform the right hand side okay so what is the answer we use this formula so for second derivative you we use this one first derivative we use this one and so on if you have a uh, third derivative you also we can also use you can use this one eh? So I just replace them. S square x. Since the function is x, small x, so I replace with big x because that is the uh, in s domain after the uh, transform. The Laplace transform minus s x small x in time domain at zero. And x, the rate of x, zero, eh? at time zero. So that one is from here, from this one. And for the second part, we put the five at the side. S, x, s. So that's the uh, Laplace form. Minus x, zero. Okay. And finally, 6x, s, okay? Because we transform the x alone. And the right hand side is to, we just use the formula. Okay, that one. Eh? Okay, now we can rearrange. We want to put the x only, the big x only at the left hand side. So what is the component of the x? The big x is 
this one this one and this one okay so what will happen is s square plus 5s plus 6 x s okay and this one is equal to 2 s plus 1 so everything other component we put at the right hand side okay so s plus 5 x 0 so where this come from is the x0 component s and negative 5 huh? and finally the x dot okay so we put this other component this one this one and this one to the right hand side so now do we know the value of the constant of the initial condition so we know this one is equal to one given at here sorry this one eh? and for the x dot zero is equal to zero okay so we know that the value so we put these two value inside the function so we will get s square plus 5s plus 6 x s equal to 2 over s plus 1 so this one is equal to 0 this one is sorry this one is equal to 1 this one is equal to 0 so the, so the outcome is plus s plus 5 okay and then we put uh, this function to the bottom of the right hand side so because we want to find the function of x the big x okay why because we want to find the answer the solution we want to solve the differential equation that means we want to find the x in terms of what function okay so before that we need to find the big x in frequency domain and afterward we can inverse transform to get the small x okay so this one is equal to uh, when we put uh, the rate uh, this function inside uh, to the right hand side what we will get is actually we can simplify it uh, before that this s2 plus 5s plus 6 we can uh, simplify it into s plus 3 times s plus 2 so you can do this factori factorization okay and then you can put to the right side so what will happen is 2 over s plus 1 this one time s plus 3 times s plus 2 okay plus s plus 5 s plus 3 s plus 2 okay okay now now we can separate this into five components because we have five uh, bracket at the bottom one two three four five okay so right now we can use cover up uh, rule okay uh, I want to, to teach you how to use cover up but I'm not sure whether uh, I uh, have time I have time for that actually for cover up rule what I do is 
for the first uh, fraction, I will just cover this one. And I know that uh, if S is equal to, if this S is equal to negative one, I will get zero over there. So I just cover that one. And I will replace other S with negative one. So I will get the value of the first constant. Okay, for example, So what will happen is like this. This is the fraction that I want to have. Uh, this is B, C, S plus three, okay, plus D, S plus three, plus E, S plus two. So uh, this two is from different, uh, this one, and this one is from different fraction. So we can do separately. Eh? So to find the value of A, I think I don't have time to, to explain for you, uh, to you to, uh, what, what is, how to do the cover up rule. So I just put the value of A, B, C. Uh, and if you want to learn how to use the cover up rule, I can teach you, uh, I think I will make an extra video uh, for example, 11.25. So I will teach you how to use the cover up rule. So right now I just uh, uh, continue uh, finishing this equation. So A is equal to one. S plus one, so that's the answer that I get. Uh, B is equal to one as well. S plus two. Sorry, this is two. Two. B is equal to two plus negative two. Negative two. C is one. S plus three. And D is two. Negative two, S plus three. Uh, e is uh, three, S plus two. And you can see that uh, this one and this one has similar bottom. This one and similar has similar denominator. So we can add them. So the answer is one over S plus one plus one over S plus two minus one over S plus three. So from this uh, form, this one, this one, and this one, we can find the inverse uh, the, in the Laplace transform formula table. Uh, so we can do inverse transform individually, separately. So Finally, we get the answer. The x, the small x, the answer that we want in the t domain, in time domain. This one is equal to e power of negative t plus e power of negative 2t minus e power of negative 3t. And you need to put the, the condition, the range. For this range, it always bigger than zero. T need to be always bigger to, bigger than zero. No other value, just zero. So that's it. That's the answer for the example. 11.23. Now, uh, do we still have time for example 11.24? Actually, uh, for 11.24, the difference is uh, compared to example 11.23 is we only add the first shift theorem in the solution. Okay. So we consider the first shift theorem in the uh, solution of example 11.24. The rest is uh, pretty uh, similar to the example 
23. So I don't think that we have time. Actually, we still have time, but I know you guys want to finish early because I promise uh, we will have this session only for one hour. So we still have three minutes. So I think uh, you can try the example 11.24 by yourself. This one. It's pretty uh, similar to 11.23, but we have first shift theorem. And you can also try example 11.25. Okay. In the uh, example 11.25, the difference is we have uh, the, the derivative of the differential equation is uh, uh, the third uh, derivative. Eh? So we have uh, d3x dt3 uh, component in the function. So how to solve that? Simple. Just by using the sorry, use the same formula right here, but uh, replace n with three. Eh? That's it. So I think uh, that's all for our class today. Hopefully you, hopefully you understand what I teach you today. Uh, even though we cannot communicate. Uh, uh, pretty <laughs> fluently because uh, we are using online uh, uh, medium. So, so right now we have another one minute or we can have an additional three minutes if you want. If you have any question right now, you can uh, ask in the chat box or you can just uh, unmute yourself and ask me any question related to this lecture. So any question? Do you have any question? Is it clear what I teach uh, today? If you are not clear, you can uh, you can uh, WhatsApp me personally, or oh, I don't think that you have my phone number, or you can. Uh, email me. So I can write down my email again. So you can email me whenever you confuse with the uh, with Laplace transform. Okay. So this is my email. So you, if you have any question, you can just ask me. Uh, via the email. Hopefully you understand. So, so right now I just want to add another information. Right now I'm, uh, me and Dr. Asfar is discussing about uh, the test which is uh, actually uh, already late. So we are going to do uh, the test uh, soon. Eh? Maybe next week, maybe next two weeks. So just be prepared for the test. So, uh, and we will tell you what will be what we enter in the in the test. And also, I am planning to do a, a quiz. Uh, I want uh, maybe this is only for my student, or maybe uh, Dr. Aspa want to uh, involve with the quiz as well. Anyway, I am going to use Kahoot. So uh, everyone can. Uh, can be prepared. Eh? And I will tell what we enter uh, in the quiz as well. Okay, about the, uh, this uh, recording, I will upload uh, in YouTube, uh, inshallah. But uh, hopefully, uh, the recording is not uh, interrupted or uh, damaged because uh, my Google Chrome is crashing just now. So I think uh, that's all for our session today. If there is no other question, uh, I will conclude uh, our lecture today uh, uh, 
because uh, it's uh, 12, uh, two minutes already. So thanks again for your attendance. Thanks again uh, for those who uh, concentrate with my lecture. Uh, sorry with any uh, difficulty during the lecture. Hopefully you guys are doing well at your home. And hopefully you guys are in good healthy, in good health and uh, live happily with your family <laughs> and enjoying the uh, Hari Raya uh, peacefully at home. Eh? So I think that's all for uh, our session today. Thank you very much. Before that, I want to uh, add another attendance. Eh? Finally. Please do not leave yet. So I think that's all for our class today. Thank you very much. Uh, now you, uh, you may leave. So, Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikumsalam, Doctor.